Got some really fat sows on camera down here right now, but there was some pretty bad news on the way in. There's three dead pigs underneath the tree over here, and we're the only people that are supposed to have permission to hunt this thing. Hopefully that ran all the pigs off. We're gonna walk back there, maybe see some pigs. I think I hit it pretty good. It's right there, see if it goes down. See it over there, it's got arrows sticking out of it. Look 
decent, but it was there was a lot of arrow hanging out. I don't know if I shoulder shot it or what. It was in some brush, but I can it had just stepped in like that. Shot it. It ran a good ways. So I don't know. I just wanted to stay on it enough so that I could see if it went down or it didn't. Or where I could last see it. It was right in here last I saw it. I was trying to get around this brush. Were y'all just chasing pigs? Yeah. Where'd they go? What were they doing? Well, they're sitting where you, right where you think they were. Where at? Downwind of the corn. But just right now, y'all chase pigs to right here? Yeah. I just knew that if the pigs are going to be anywhere, they're going to be in these thickets downwind yeah. of the corn. So I, I just, just couldn't figure out where y'all ended up going. Here. We, we, just, we can't we didn't know get... where we were going. <laughs> yeah. I ended up in a completely different place than I thought I was headed. I shot one. Is that what that one squeal was we heard? Probably. Okay. Y'all ever made it over there, but the, the water's right below the bridge. Oh, how about that? Did the gators come up and snap at you? <laughs> okay. Well, let's go see if we can find some blood. Yeah, there's mud right there. Okay. Oh, actually, that's kind of dry, isn't it? That's mud. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said mud. Oh, but I think it's mud dry. blood. It sounds very similar. Mud blood. There's blood right there. Oh my. So currently she. Yeah, it's a that's cool. Yeah. That's your cut. sliding at the river. <laughs> dude, I know we were like watching for you and I heard something turn around and there were two giant hogs Take right there. Me, As the grass shoots up in the spring, we found it hard to shoot low enough on these pigs. A high shoulder shot caused a 600 yard tough tracking job to end unsuccessfully at a swift river crossing. Man, sorry we lost your pig. Oh, man, it happens. Them pigs are tough, dude. They are, man, but I'm glad we went over there and uh, found that spot because golly, that's the yeah. most pig sign I've seen. There's a few new pictures. Once things calmed back down again, the sow showed up on camera like nothing even happened. They've been coming in like around five, so uh, we're gonna head down there and try to get in the way if they're there. Really not that late for pigs, but they've been showing up around five a lot. Sometimes the little group will show up, so we're gonna get in here kind of fast but quiet. If we see them and they're there, we're gonna get after them. If they're not, we'll wait around until dark, probably hopefully see a boar or something like that. You see it? It's about 45. A bunch of dead stuff right here. Stick right here. 
Presto. Jump in there. I didn't go in very far. Did I hit forward? It sounded good. Would you stop? I guess I don't need to. They got weird. Greg goes, Wind's hit me in the back, and I was like, sure enough. And the big pig goes, mm. kind of gave like a, hey, I think I smell or hear something or something. And it took this pig a second, but it lifted its head up and was like, what's going on? I think it was smelling us or something. And I was like, all right, we got to shoot now or never. And the pig was at 30. And it was in the grass, so you probably saw, but tough shot. And I was very surprised that I think I hit it forward because there was a lot of arrow hanging out. But I'm hoping I just went shoulder blade, shoulder blade, and it was just, you know, stuck in on the other shoulder blade. So let's go look, I'm, I'm shaking, it's weird. It's a pig and it's made, but like, golly. That's fun stuff. Just on the way in here, they, I knew that they'd come in and out of the south here a lot. And uh, I just wanted to make sure we could kind of loop around into the wind and have a chance at them. I'm thinking probably right there, but I don't see any blood. If it's a high hit, it's gonna take a second. I do know they looped around the end of this water and you could hear them go across the creek. So at the very minimal, pretty much everything is gonna be at that creek. It's gonna tell us a lot. That's that's the elm right there. Just they went. I bet that's the elm. Man, who knows for sure. I think that's gotta be where they went though. I mean, there's like, there's fresh mud tracks this way too. There's blood right there. It's good, boy. Look at that. It's kind of dark, but like, it's a lot of it. So, I mean, like, that almost looks like a stumble, you know? Because that's, that's a lot of blood low right there. It looks like it almost stumbled. But this is definitely a trail. We were a little too high. They dipped into the woods quicker than we thought they would. So, right there, and then back towards the creek. I'm hoping, I hate to say this, because you'd be surprised how much blood is in an animal, for real. Like, these things can bleed pretty well and never get found. We've already seen that on this video, right? That, that gum sow just took an arrow and went for a long ways, bled quite a bit and it's back on the camera, you know what I mean? But that's quite a bit of blood. This could be good. Spray, dude. There's blood here and there and there. I don't know for sure what's happening here because I don't see it down this trail for a second. It's like it, almost like the pig did a circle here, turned out or something. It's weird. There's more blood out there. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're still on the right path here. Hope that thing didn't get swept off. There's a bunch of blood right there. It's almost like it stood there for a second, like debating on if it wanted to go. But there's a lot more blood there too. Might be just sunk in the bottom of the river right there. Is there? Oh yeah, sure enough. Man, I would have to say, can you can you see the, the tracks though? Oh yeah, under that root right there. Under under that, that tree, yeah for sure. Yeah, let me look for let me get up here and look at my binos. There's blood. Blood on the other side. Pretty high, so as long as that thing as that pig made it up on top like another six foot and then we're in the clear we don't have a sunk pig last blood is actually across right there diagonal in that sandbar right there 
So that way we can go around, cross up here. I know we can cross down here like 100 yards. We'll come back across. Hopefully I don't jump a bedded pig or something, but I got a feeling this pig is dead at this point. These things are so tough. I believe there's blood right here. Oh, there's a bunch of blood right there. It's always a little bit hairy, you know? I'm not like super scared, never been charged formally by a pig. But you never know when you're dealing with a just a mean middle-aged boar, kind of like me. And then this direction. Tag coming, there he is right there. I think I said it, but I thought I hit forward a little bit. Hard to see in that grass for sure. That, that front shoulder is actually pretty small, especially on sows a lot of times and smaller boars. You get into a situation where you're looking in a shadow at a small shoulder that's black and you're like, where do I put this pen? Also, by the way, this thing is smelling me currently. I can't nose in the air, you know what I mean? I think we hit shoulder blade and shoulder blade. That's why we didn't get much penetration. But we got a dead pig. Oh, it's a big sow. Basically, I think I hit in front of the shoulder, so jugular, but I'm pretty sure I know for a fact, actually, that that pig was facing me. So the way the arrow looks right now, it looks like I made a bad shot, but it was the pig was facing me, so right there, right in front of the shoulder, right off the point, hit in the, the other shoulder and stuck, and got lung and everything else, and jugular and all that. Super effective kill. White hoofed sow. This thing might eat pretty well, actually. It's kind of a cliche thing, you know, but I'm pretty pumped to actually put some pork in the freezer because I don't have any. And uh, I'm actually, I don't have a whole lot of venison, period. I noticed the other day, I need some pork. It's just, this like a good fat sow like this. It, do, it just doesn't get better in the wild game woods. I mean, Clay Newcomb can say what he wants about bear grease, but bacon, you know what I mean? I mean. Not truly bacon, but, you know, at its core, bacon. Actually, the first day of May uh, when I shot this pig. And there's still a little fat left on it, but these things are leaning out quite a bit. They're, uh, you know, she had some big, big uh, piglets with her too. And there was another sow. And so she's definitely not doing a ton of nursing anymore. Those things were digging around and grubbing and everything, but like, she's kind of been sucked dry a little bit you know, for lack of a better phrase. You know, we always just gutted deer. Growing up, we didn't do a, a gutless method, but it's pretty handy on these hogs, especially. And uh, KC, you know, learned the gutless method doing the elk hunting that he's done in the past with his family. We didn't grow up doing much elk hunting at all, or any. So, I've had to learn it on hogs over the last couple of years. If we're not doing it, we're probably thinking about it every day. Pig hunting or anything else we can chase is pretty much just what we do. 